Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Um, lots of crazy stuff going on out there. Uh, yeah, so what I was getting in the pre-shuffle was, uh, yeah, I knew it. We're going to do a little investigative work today. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Somebody is freaking out. Death magic. All right, I can't even make it up. I mean, Scorpio, death, and the uh, magician here. So, my guess is that this player, whoever they are, this, and, and I'm feeling like it's a stalker issue. Um, they're freaking out because whatever this magic is that they sent out, it isn't working. And they want to see you fall. This is a very, very dark energy. Scorpio. And Virgo Gemini. This is a very... I'm feeling it. And, and like I said, we're going to do some investigation here. Alright. So this is what they're freaking out about. <laughs> Eight of Wands. The Lovers and the Two of Cups. Mm-hmm. So there's something coming towards you that these people are trying to stop. Or this person, whoever they might be. Gemini energy. They want this stopped at all costs. They're freaking out because it's not working. You're about to receive a message. You're about to find out who this person is. I do feel like um, there's a dark energy surrounding this person, okay? Uh, it, it, it is a an entity of some kind. And uh, am I getting here? They're following you around online. I mean, I mean, real, real stalkery. I think, viewer, you were too nice to this person. And now you might have a problem. Two, uh, two of uh, wands in the most recent past moved on from the Knight of Cups. So somebody chose to move away from an offer of love here. Or they're coming towards you with an offer of love. Could be either or. I do feel like there's more than one here. For that reason, uh, I am not taking... Um, face-to-face -face personals you I'm only doing pre-recorded readings so just to let, let you know up front if you get a reading from me it will be pre-recorded pre like the ones I do here on YouTube uh, due to um, yeah little dark things flying around out there all right so we have Libra in the immediate future, justice to the Queen of Cups. Schwang! We're definitely having some kind of a, a... Somebody's having some kind of awakening here, and that is what is trying to be stopped. Someone's realizing that you were their... Or are their... Um, significant other, or, or somebody... Like I said, somebody's coming towards you here. And it's big because you got all these people trying to stop it, like like an elite group trying to stop this from happening because they know that when the two of you come together, that it's going to be powerful and that it's going to affect a lot of people. So they're trying to stop that before it happens. And it's not working. They're freaking out. 
This is like a last ditch effort to try to stop you for whatever reason. I have no idea, guys. Um, and anybody who comes near you online, or it's, they they get they've got something tagged here, either your phone or your your uh, your computer, or something. Because anybody that comes near you online, all of a sudden disappears. If you're talking to people, I feel like they're stalking your social media to see who you're talking to and who you're dealing with. Oh yeah. So, yeah, they're trying to stop a divine union. Trying to stop you from having a brand new beginning. I will never understand, people. I will never understand. Like I said, this person is, is, is going out of their way. They're... They're messing with your, your social media. I don't know how they're doing this, but they're doing it. And uh, operating with a group of people to keep you and this other person apart. Queen of Cups and the Emperor apart. They don't want them coming together. Because like I said, it, it's going to affect and impact a whole lot of people. Taurus energy, Emperor energy. Um, somebody's really, really unhappy. They're they're really stressing about this. What is the outside influence, Spirit? What is the outside influence? Like I said, growth is happening. And there's still that this this person this these people because I feel like there's more than one. You're not happy that their magic ain't working. They're really upset, and they don't understand how you're not down yet. Huh? Okay. Well, probably because. It's divinely protected. I and mean, there ain't nothing you can do about it. I mean, if, if it wasn't of God, if it wasn't um, of spirit, then it wouldn't be able to last. People are dropping off like flies as far as, you know, what they're watching, what they're not watching. But at the same token... This person is going out of their way to make you feel left out in the cold, to make you feel like you don't matter, to, to, to take money from you. But, viewer, you already know this. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. You already know this. You know what they're doing. Which is why uh, they can't get away with it because you already have an inkling of what is going on here like I said investigation time seven of wands they want you to reject this person okay they're trying to block this person they're being very reckless because they think they're entitled to your energy they think they're entitled to whatever energy you've got here. Yeah, look. Two of Pentacles and Lovers again. Can't make it up. What is Nine of Swords and this uh, Knight of Wands about? Two of Pentacles. I knew it. It just jumped right out there. So they want to they wanna hurt your money. They wanna they wanna do things they're doing shady shady stuff and keeping secrets by the pale moonlight. Or at this point, I don't think there is a new the the new moon's on uh the tenth. So 
I believe. Uh, yeah, so trying to hurt you in some sort of way, especially financially. They want, they want to take your blessings. They think they're entitled to your energy. It could be a Leo, it could be another Pisces or Scorpio. You walked away from whatever this is. You walked away from someone. Now this someone is upset. You better be careful. I, I, I'm, I'm getting a real icky energy here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands. You see this, the truth and the stalker. The truth and the stalker. Eight of Wands. Wow. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. You see the truth here, viewer. And that's why they're upset. Yeah. So the person that's going to try to contact you, this is definitely an online situation. Um, Page of Pentacles in the star. So someone here is going to send you a message. They could be very powerful. With the star and the and the uh, emperor here, this person could be very powerful and hold some kind of sway online because that's Aquarius. That's online energy. That is that is the next phase of yeah. Trying to feed a Queen of Cups a bunch of illusions to make her believe that she's unlovable. Because she turned somebody down? Really? Self-worth is not based on, 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 uh, on somebody else's opinion. I'm just going to give it to you, hundred. Look! Two of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Magician. Like I said, viewer, they are doing everything they can to hold you up from any kind of blessing that you're entitled to here. Whoever these people are. World and Cancerian energy. That's Virgo, Gemini, and Pisces and Aquarius. Libra. I mean, we got just about everything out here. Whoever this person is stalking and, and throwing death magic at you, understand that if you are on this trajectory of doing this to someone, it's going to come back and bite you. It will. I promise. And, and especially if you're throwing out this, this death magic stuff because... That's going to end up making somebody really, really sick. I do feel like whoever this person is in this player and nine of swords energy, they are desperate. They are desperate because the, they know the end is nigh. <laughs> they know that there's an ending coming for them. Because once this emperor steps up to this high priestess, it's all over. It's all over for these people. It's all over for these people. And they're going to be the ones on the floor. It's going to be a sad, but, you know, I don't understand people, guys. I really don't. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not a vindictive person. I don't, I don't try to hurt people. Because, you know, I, I had to do a lot of healing on my own. So, I've never been the type of person that ever tried to hurt anybody else. So, I don't understand why these people do what they do. This is what they're trying to stop. But they can't. They can't stop it. They wanted to get... Okay, so... Whoever this dark energy is that's following you around wanted to be in your energy. And I believe you turned them down. I, I believe you said, yeah, no. Um, 
you're not what I was looking for type energy. And this person is severely, severely butthurt. Because they know that you have a significant relationship coming in. And they want to stop it. But they can't. Because it's divinely protected, it's divinely guided. So no matter what these people do, it's going to end up backfiring on them. And they're, and they're just going to lose it anyway. They're trying to stop this two of cups, man. I'm telling you. This healing. Whatever it is taking place between you and another person. Okay. So somebody here is feeling ghosted. It's an emperor. They feel ghosted. So they want to affect your money. They want to, they want to take from you. Could be even involved in a smear campaign. Because it is the Queen of Wands. And they want whoever this person is coming towards you to leave you out in the cold. Because they don't want y'all getting together. They want you to, to just give up. They want you to quit. Queen of Wands don't quit real easily. Let me tell you. Seven of Pentacles, three of Wands. What's that about? They want to. They want to hold your growth up. That's that's what that is. They want to stop your growth. Yeah. So it's this Knight of Wands. This player, player. And I think you're realizing something, viewer. I think you're seeing something that maybe you weren't meant to see, but you see it. This person is being very, very reckless, very careless. They're going to end up getting caught. Somebody's trying to stop your creative growth by being very, very foolish. Aries energy, Virgo energy, and the Three of Cups. So there's at least three people doing this. At least three, maybe more. Like I said, this is a, a group of elites that have a lot of power. Or just a group that understand technology and are going out of their way to mess with your growth. To hold you up. To keep you from going forward in your creative endeavors. Whatever that might be. Because they think they have that right. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Aries. What is this High Priestess about? Okay, so this could be a Dark High Priestess that's doing this. Somebody who is doing serious, serious magic here uh, that is really, really toxic. They about to be judged, all right? They know that this judgment and this fight is coming. They know. And they're keeping secrets. They're trying to keep, like I said, they're trying to block a significant relationship coming into your life. I'm not getting the Four of Wands here, but I do feel like whoever these people are, they may even be stalking your home. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Emperor again, Shu Wang. So, no matter what they do, you're going to get what's fair to you, viewer. You're going to get what's owed to you. I feel like these people may have infected you somehow to the point where they're taking money and giving it to others to try to stop this because I do feel like they, see, you see how this is it looks like somebody is paying other people to block this significant relationship for you oh we gotta stop it we gotta make it stop 
Because if they come together, it's all over for us. Yeah, you're damn right it is. It, it might be all over for you before you get started, babies. You can't throw out this kind of energy and expect to get good things in return. So they're trying to block your Ten of Pentacles. Get you not to see something. They want you to give up your Ten of Pentacles here. They want you to give up your Ten of Pentacles and stay stuck. Whoever you are. Ace of Wands and the Emperor again. So this person could be a boss. I mean, like I said, they, they've got some kind of power here. Some kind of power. They could be a star. They could be a... Um, they could be famous. They could be online famous. And maybe they've started a smear campaign against you to keep you from growing, to keep you from moving forward. They want to stop you. And I don't know why it's such an important thing for them to stop whatever this significant relationship is coming in. I don't get it. I, I mean, I seriously don't get it. What do you have to gain by somebody not having love and money in their life? What? I mean, really, what do you have to gain? Do you think this person is going to take you back? Or want to be with you after you've done all this? Huh? Somebody's got a serious body dysmorphia problem here. Somebody isn't happy about who they are. And that's that's why they do this kind of shit, I, I'm guessing. Is because uh, they have little to no self-value. That That's going to change. I mean, they're, like I said, somebody's got a creative influence here. It could be you. It could be them. Trust in the universe, babies. There's definitely some competitor here who is trying to get reward without effort and cause drama. That's all they're doing is trying to cause drama in your life. Because, oh, enemy, gaslight, jealousy, damn, shadows, wow. So there's, there's some serious, serious stuff happening here behind the scenes, guys. I don't know what this person's going through, but damn, okay? Competitor. Reward. Drama. A miracle over pain. Enemy. Now, I feel like, I feel like there may be a miracle happening... As far as somebody goes health-wise. Alright. And that could be what's leading to the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So, whoever this en enemy is, they're gaslighting because they're jealous. They're energy harvesting in the shadows from a dark night. Lots of red flags and gluttony here. I mean, it is all laid out right in front of me. Wow. Wow. People go to a lot of trouble. But you need to trust in spirit here, viewer. Whoever you are, you need to trust in spirit that whatever's going on behind the scenes will come out. You see clearly, clairvoyant. So you do, you definitely see what this, this is. It says working too hard. Oh, Somebody is, is, is burnt out. It's like they got to work overtime, double time, to be able to keep up with you. Whatever that means. Clean up time. Count your blessings. Transition to the spirit realm. So somebody ain't got nothing to lose here, guys. They're on their way out. They're on their way out. And they got nothing to lose. That's why they're going to these lengths. That explains it. They got trust and truth. 
No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Manage to be glad. Create your ha own happiness regardless of the conditions. So this is telling you to trust in spirit that the truth is going to be brought out and this is feeling blocked or restrained because you're stating your sovereignty and declaring your freedom passing a test being in the present keeping your temper under control don't allow what does that say don't allow anger what does that say don't allow anger to ride you. What? Okay, to. Okay. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. There's nothing to be afraid of here. This is all an illusion being cast by an enemy, trying to get you to give up your place, give up your sovereignty. It's not going to happen. Something happened overnight. Something was, uh, like I said, these people are throwing this death magic. This could just be the death of your business or the death of your situation that they're trying to stop because they want to stop you from being seen. They know they can't, and, and they're freaking out now. Like I said, they got nothing left to lose at this point. They've already lost you. And they're going through a dark night of the soul, so they want to stop your money. They want to stop your, your, um, yeah, community. Whole community, really. You are held in high regard or high honor. Your whole community here. Concerned about a mature woman. Who works her ass off. She works hard for a living. So hard for a living. I don't know why I'm getting that. Donna Summer. So this is what. They're trying to lock this away from you. Even though you've worked for it. Whoever this group of people are. They're trying to keep you from your great fortune. And they're trying to lock you up. What? Huh? For what? For working your ass off? Readers, beware. Because there is somebody doing this to not just one, but a lot of readers out there. You're not confused about what you want. You're not confused about the things that you want out of life and and like I said you turn somebody down here somebody that was in love with you somebody who's stalking you online somebody's looking at your pictures somebody who's in love with you and they're taking a big risk at gambling your online presence like I said they're they're stalking your social media too so they're watching who you contact or who you talk to and if you talk to anyone they're trying to get in their energy and talk to them too they don't want this whatever this significant relationship is that's coming in for you they don't want it to happen because it will be powerful not dealing with hurt, avoiding conversation, and still angry boundaries. So, like I said, they're big mad. They, they, they're mad and they're upset. Now they're freaking out because they know that they've been blocked from your Ten of Pentacles. They've been blocked from... Uh, they're paying people. They're paying people to attack you. 
why? Eighth house. Like I said, they're trying. Karma's, karma's in reverse. It's been reversed, whatever this is. You just have to wait, uh, you know, wait to see what happens, I guess. Because this is all happening etherically. It's all happening in the ethers. Desire, hope. Somebody wants you to lose hope. Be still because the collective has your back here. Whatever that means, be still because the collective has your back. Whether you know it or not, your collective has your back. Don't lose hope about what you desire because what you desire is de desiring you and it's on its way in. So, keep that in mind. Like I said, there's a group of people here trying to block it. They want you... They want you down. 9-9. Nine, nine. Damn, it's almost a wrap. Cool. So, emotional withdrawal. Eight of Swords. The truth here is going to set somebody free. No matter what these people are doing, we have spiritual strength and suffering in science, silence. So, Nine of Wands. I think that's the Nine of Cups. But, somebody wants you to, wants you to suffer here. But you're you're too strong, viewer. You're you're too strong. And they're they're upset because there's some kind of prosperity coming in for you. So they're trying to disrupt your life from the shadow because they're butt hurt because they you you don't want you don't want them. You don't want their partnership. So they're trying to put obstacles and challenges in your way. To get to your four of wands. They're trying to stop you from getting your four of wands. Like I said, this person could even be stalking your house, viewers. So be very aware of that. I mean, it's... Like I said, obsession can be dangerous. And I do feel like this person is dangerous. This dark energy that's following you around. Yeah. They're a little bit too attached to your energy in a, in a not healthy way. All right. The hungry ghost upright, the diamond dreamer in reverse. Yeah, they're they're trying to stop your money. They're trying to stop your creativity. Some kind of creative project that you might have. The horse king is in reverse and the diamond dream is dreamers in reverse as well. Let's see what they say. All right. So, the horse king says, the horse king wants to know why you think you can do everything all by yourself. Well, because it's hard to trust anybody out there with this kind of shit going on. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Keeping control of everything around you is counterproductive and exhausting. You may lose an important opportunity if you insist on being stubborn. The horse king is patient, however, and will wait for you to come to your senses and accept the help you need. You won't be able to reach your goal otherwise. Yet the horse king says that all it takes is a decision to jump on his back, ask for help, and graciously allow yourself to be carried to your destination. Let go of control and amazing things can happen for you. Yes, I do feel like that's necessary here, viewer, to let go of control because these people think they got you under control, all right? But if you just let go of it and, and, and say, you know what? Because um, cause whoever this person is, they're in love with you. And they're, they're definitely gambling whatever, whatever feeling they have for you here. They're trying to block your money, your material wealth, and your prosperity your true prosperity which I'll remind you resides here not out there this is this is 
this is what materialism does to people. It makes them think that all their power is outside themselves. And it's really not. I mean, if you want to create a life of prosperity and abundance, it has to start in here first. Otherwise, it, it, it will never work out. You'll always be spiritually poor. Even if you got millions of dollars, you'll always be spiritually poor if, if you don't fix the inside to reflect the outside. Where is this card? There it is. Again with the 17. I don't know what it is about the number 17 besides it, it equals 8. That is very significant for you viewer. But it definitely is. It says. The Diamond Dreamer challenges you to address your perception of the power of materialism. Do you focus on the material world above all else? Have you become hypnotized by the motion that it's the only reality? Have you grown too attached to stuff? Have you come to consider wealth only to be an accumulation of worldly goods? Now is the time to find value and wealth in the intangible spiritual experience. Before anything is seen reflected in the manifest world, it originates in the unseen, the spiritual, and the divine mind. Be careful what you wish to manifest, for you may not want to pay the price of keeping it once you get it. The Diamond Dreamer also reminds you that disappointment and disillusionment are sometimes the way home to the truth of what's best for you. He may be here to tell you that when you don't get what you want, it's being withheld from you because something better is in store. Be compassionate with yourself and others at this time and let the Diamond Dreamer lead you to the highest dreams of your per perfect pro purpose and true prosperity. So, like I said, you have hurt somebody's feelings here and they went out of their way to try to manifest you and because they couldn't manifest you, now they want to manifest your downfall. It's not going to work out for them. In fact, it's going to be very brutal. And they think that materialism is the only way to, to destroy you. They think, they think that that's going to destroy you. But if you're in your heart of hearts and you believe in spirit and you understand that the divine knows what's best here, then your disappointment and delusionment won't be there because you understand. You understand that, that, that um, materialism is materialism and it's just, it's the fake stuff. The real stuff's on the inside. Alright? Well, that's what you, that's what we got for the day. Please join me at 3 o'clock for live stream. And until then, I will see you soon. Take care for now.